Oh, Welcome to the official, official, official stream. This is the real official one because yesterday wasn't long enough. Seven and a half hours wasn't enough. I just needed more stream, I needed more of you wonderful guys. Did anyone else think that there were too many people yesterday? I thought there were too many people there. Personally, I hated it. I hated every second of it. What I wanted is just you lot, just you 70 people. I wanted you just, just 70. I wanted Dead's 38, that's what I wanted. I wanted the original Dead's 38 in there and nobody else. But then all these other people started coming along, getting involved and sticking their nose in our fun. I mean, I couldn't do a biscuit stream. It was way too many. But how are you all? Academic Dust, good to see you. Percat259, good to see you. Andy FM, good to see you. Griefed Corpse Necromus, Robbie XP1, Captain Fluffy, Dante2050, Millstone Barn, all of the usuals. Black Sheep Kitty as well. I've, I've given you a, an honorific title of uh, bla the, bla the, the, the sheep, the black sheep of the family. Who knows? Uh, Andy FM says, Mark Allen Damage, 400 billion beards. Yes, all of these were very, very silly things that were happening yesterday. Of course, it is Friday. Uh, Captain Fluffy, you've got to go, but you'll watch the stream later. It's a real shame, but it is nice. It was nice to see you. But yeah, this is the, where the real fun happens. This is where the real magic happens, right here, right here on this stream. Today we've got some very, very exciting things. We've got the game. Um, uh, cup of tea. Well, cup of tea. Uh, got some. Got a mug. Got a glass pen, a couple of pens, got this pen. Uh, so yeah, everybody, thank you for watching yesterday. It was really, really good that you were all here. It was really, really cool. Uh, Andy FM, what do we have behind the bar today? Because we are going to do a little bit of jumping to start off with. Is Shan in the chat? Do we, have, do we have a Shan? We have a Millstone Barn at least to give me some help. But I thought, why not show off all of the amazing new features that are part of Elite Dangerous Horizons, um, the Engineers 2.1. I thought I would do that by starting the game and going into a private group, of course. Uh, Shaneri, so we can see where, I, where I'm up to. Um, I'm not giving away my shirt, this is staying on my back today. But yes, of course, we have the Biz Quiz, but I'm going to get around to that in just a little bit. We've got the Biz Quiz, and we've got an amazing unboxing. Yorkshire Tea sent this giganta box over with all sorts of interesting things in there. So I'm very, very excited to... Uh, very, very excited to get that unveiled and find out what's in that box as well. I've literally just done a couple of the snips to make it easier for myself. But uh, yeah, we're going to open up this massive box and see what's in there together for the first time, which is super exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at all the amazing new features in the Elite Dangerous uh, uh, 2.1 expansion. Oh, right. Um, hold on a minute. Uh, can I... Is this... So... All right, well, um, kind of looks like it's all kind of over here, really. I mean, there's all sorts of cool little new, look at all those little new shiny symbols. And look where I am. 
No fun for the Lou Bear. No fun for the Ed today. All right, well, that's a shame. But what we can do is this. Watch this, everybody. This is something that I did find out this morning. We can do this. We can do this. We can go bookmark location. Yeah, yeah. We can, we can edit that and write something silly like, oh, no, I've broken it. Uh, like, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Um, random selection one. And then save that. And then look, new book, bookmarking system. Anything, anything else? Any, anything else I can do, guys? Anything else? I'll tell you what. I am joking. Of course, I'm joking. I think there's an amazing, amazing amount of stuff in there. But it's amazing for the people that are back in the bubble on their way out now, exploring because they can increase their modules and stuff and do like hundred light years jumps and things like that and crazy stuff like that. But instead, I'm stuck with my 26 light year jump range uh, to see how far we can make it. But of course, there's north. There's where we're going. If you have, if you are just joining us for the first time, if you are just joining the stream for th the first time, it is a load of nonsense. It doesn't make any sense, but that's part of the fun. Uh, join the wonderful, wonderful chat. Look at these wonderful people here. Uh, go to an engineer, Ed. Oh wait, yeah. Bookmark Ed's thirty-eight. Can anyone remember the name of the the icon? I think I can. I think I've got it. Wait, is that the one? Maybe it isn't that one. I'm sure somebody will put it in the account. Uh, I'm not doing a second account. This is this is this is the only account I'll be playing with here. This is the only thing I'll be doing. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Thank you, thank you, Andy FM. I will, I will bookmark it because we just because we can. And then, by the way, my dad is watching this right now, and he's probably going, "What is what is going on? What what is he talking about?" Uh, hold on, let's see. So wait, I can click on that again, and then I can go to bookmark it, and then I can go to edit bookmarks, and then I go like that, and then edit it, and we will call it Ed's Thirty Eight Possible because we don't know yet. We're going to see how many Earth likes we find on the way home, and then we're all going to vote on which one the original Ed's Thirty Eight planet is going to be. Uh, but yeah, it is good. To, yeah, Ed's 28. Where is everybody? I think everyone's having their minds blown by 2.1. So if anyone's got any chance to play any sort of Elite Dangerous related stuff, they're playing it. They're playing it themselves. But no, I, you know, I'm I'm happy. Like I said, I prefer it when it's a little a little quieter. It means that I can be a bit more relaxed. It means that I can just be. I don't have to be doing that whole performing thing. Um, but yeah, this is uh, also watch this. Which is cool. So there you go. We've got Ed's 38 potential. A potential Ed's 38 there for us. We've got to head back towards that way. But watch this. I don't know if you agree with me here, but check this out. Right, let's see if I can get to this place here. Look how fast that was. That seems faster to me. And you can also clear the route as well, which was always a little bit awkward. So now you can just go bam. And then it's just like super fast. Anyone? Anyone else think that's really quick? I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm really sorry, Corpse. I can't answer that question. Not, not on my lunch break. If you are just joining us, if this is the first time you're here, basically what I do on this on these streams is um, I'm jumping all the way home from Beagle Point. Uh, and I thought, hey, I'm going to be doing this on my lunch breaks anyway, so why not stream it? Why not let people come and join in and join us here and, and just have a good time watching Journey Back? Uh, but it's super good. Yeah, it's good. It's super fast. Um, but of course, because it is Friday, in a few minutes time, I'm going to invite, invite my dad, Walter Neil Lewis, the BIS quiz master, to do today's quiz. Now, it's going to be harder for you lot today in the chat because there's fewer of you, there's not as many. And so for that reason, I think that you're going to struggle with uh, getting these answers right, which means that I've actually got a chance. Today's quiz is all about hair. So remember, no Googling, no cheating on Google. That would be uh, unbecoming of you all. And you will, if, if you're caught cheating, uh, then the BIS quiz master, Walter Neil Lewis, has been given license to um, throw you out of Ed's 38. Uh, he's the only one who can do it as well. It's me and him. As the Lewis clan, he's the only, we're the only ones who can do it. And then, of course, yeah, we've got uh, the biscuit review. We've got some special biscuits from Europe as well for those. And before that, the Yorkshire Tea unboxing, which is so cool. I'm so excited to see what is in that box from Yorkshire Tea. It's going to be really fun. Uh, hello, Purple Mac Gaming. Good to see you. And Saturine NL. Good to see you. And Adwood 666 UK. He's here. 666. That was back from when Adam Woods was in his metal phase, everybody. 
listen, there's lots of metal music and playing lots of metal music too. Uh, producer Coots, yeah, everybody asks Producer Coots. He needs, to, he's the one who really understands and uh, explains all this. Today I don't feel like I'm quite as on my game as much today as I usually am, but that's because seven and a half hours was a long time to do a live stream yesterday, and I think I used up all of my brain power uh, <laughs> trying to arrange that. So a couple more jumps, and then, hey, Smitty EJ, 1982, good to see you. Thank you very much for joining. And hello, everybody. Cheaters will be barred from the pub, says Andy FM. That's right, Andy FM. What are you, what are you pouring today, by the way, behind the bar, behind the imaginary bar of Andy FM? Also, what is Andy FM? Is that a radio station that you, what you do? Probably. Corpse Necrom has just noticed something even cooler. What is that? Andrea Kitty says she was there for the whole stream yesterday. Was seven and a half hours. So Saturnine NL says you did an awesome job on the live stream. I think it was pretty good. Um, it was the most well behaved I've ever been. That hour with David Braben at the start, I was so well behaved. I was just, I was, this is my face the entire time, just this. Oh yeah. Oh great. Yeah. Instead of, which I, you know, which is the face that I mostly adopt for this silly stream. Hey Shan, good to see you. Am I, by the way, I'm in your private group, so if you want to keep note of which direction I'm going in, now might be a good time to do so. We've got lo oh, spiced rum for any FSD issues. Thank you very much, Andy FM. It's spiced rum, everyone. It's Friday! It is Friday, that means we've got a weekend ahead of us, and in the UK we have a bank holiday which means that oh, we get the Monday off because we're exceptionally lazy because in other banks, with all that money, the, what they got, all the money that they get every day, they of course need an extra day to count it, I think. It's to count the money that's literally billowing out of their mouths and pockets. And so because they have too much to handle, they uh, of course need a day to set aside and build themselves a money throne. <laughs> that's, that's what you come here for, right? Is a uh, scathing uh, political... Um, Satire. Very, very intelligent stuff. Very intelligent stuff. Uh, you got lost, you're so sorry. Oh. No, you didn't, Shan. I was only joking. Sorry, that was on the... Um, yeah, I told everyone to tell you that you'd got me lost. It was not your fault. Do not worry, Shan. You are still the... Um, the chief navigator. That's the one. Use your brain to find the words today. You can't just bookmark systems, but you can also planets and stations. Great. Well, I'll make sure that I actually bookmark the actual station, the actual planet. It is about quarter past, um, and I think that I've delayed my poor papa any longer than he needs delaying. He's a very busy man. Lots of anti-fracking campaigns to run and manage and make rousing speeches at uh, anti-fracking events. He's very passionate about that subject. I'm surprised he's not mentioned it that much already to you guys. But let's bring him on. Let's get him here. He's, he's waiting in the wings, so let's bring him on. It's uh, Mr. Walter Neil Lewis. Um, and yeah, here he is. Hello, Walter! Papa, how are you? Oh, fine, thanks. And you? Yes. I mean, like, I, like I've mentioned to these guys, did you see my stream yesterday? My, you know, that eight hour stream, that, you know, really hard work that I'm doing? Uh, no, oh. unfortunately not. What were you, what were you doing? Uh, I was uh, painting a ceiling. Painting a ceiling. Any particular ceiling? Well, I'll get the plug in again. Cafe 82, which will be open <laughs> there in a few weeks time. Yeah, Cafe 82. What opens when, sorry? Uh, in a few weeks time, not sure yet. Could be within the next three weeks or so. How many people, first of all, live in Kirkham and Wesson in Preston because well, I mean I'm not sure that this even though we do have a good loyal audience I'm not sure how many of them will actually be able to make it to Cafe 82 it's it's the hub of the universe I mean you know just just off the M55 uh, mm. first stop halfway between uh, Preston and Blackpool mm. okay anyone anyone in the chat good work painting says Tigerius what does the, okay, Percat259 says, and this is completely up to you to decide whether or not that you reveal this information or how you want to choose to use this power that you've got. Percat says, what does the C stand for in Edward C. Lewis? Is he asking you or me? He's asking you. He wants you to reveal this information. Uh, would you mind, Edward? Um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of how we can make a sort of a bit more of a game out of it, or 
Well, there is a story involved, and it, and it concerns your, well, my, my uncle, who was okay. a fantastic storyteller. Okay. Should we, I could put the music up. I'll put the music on, and you can tell the story. Tell Why story. not? One second, let me, let me find some music. What's, what's a good sort of nice soft uh, piece of orchestral music that we can use? Uh, how about... Uh, Anything but the Ring of the Knee Balloon. What about Ave Maria? <laughs> <laughs> what about Ave Maria? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, Schubert. All right, you ready? Come on. Okay. I can tell the story now. I can tell the story. Story now. time with Neil. Well, you see, this is entirely unscripted and unplanned. Um, because I didn't know this question was going to come up. How mm. Edward got his middle name. But uh, what it boiled down to was, I had an uncle, and he was a, a mountain of a man. But by the time I was growing up and knew him, he was stuck to uh, a Zimmer frame. And, well, not literally stuck, but, you know, uh, rather tied to it. Yeah. Not literally tied. But he was having a good time moving around with that, and he loved to tell stories. And one day when I was about, oh, six years old, he told me how he was a railway detective. Uh, with a Pinkerton agency back in the Midwest of the United States in the times when, uh, well, guns were probably more numerous than, uh, than anything else, the people using them. Sort of like it is today. Yeah. Anyway, to cut a long story short... Is that true then? Did he actually really do that? Yes. Cool. According to him and my, the rest of my family, he was, uh, yes, a, a detective. Yeah. A railway detective in this was sort of like I'm pitching like a Red Dead Redemption sort of situation. You did, probably don't know Red Dead Redemption, but like I'm pitching a cowboy badass sort of detective type guy with well, like a six shooter. He had he carried a gun. He carried a gun, and he was what they called a, a railroad dick. You know, mm. a, a private eye. He was and, a railroad dick. Okay. Railroad dick. Dick's Different meaning these days for the railroad dick. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry. We want authenticity. I mean, this is. Yeah. Get into the time. Here no, we no, go. good. No, I like it. I, this is all, all. This is the best. Keep going. He ended up in uh, in a shootout on the train, you know, between cars. My great uncle was the coolest. And he's 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 shooting at him, and 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 he wings the guy. Okay, and he goes down, and when he gets him, the guy says, you know, how in the world are you still alive? I hit you, uh, you know, dead on right into the heart, mm. and. And my uncle said, I have a silver cigarette case. And, nice. and it, it hit the silver ci cigarette case. It embedded, it, the, the bullet embedded itself there and saved my life. I don't believe that. Give us some proof. Well, at that point, at that point, even though I was six years old, I said, ah, oh, come on, and started laughing. I said, yeah. that didn't happen. And then he pulls the silver cigarette case out of his pocket with the indentation and the bullet still embedded in it. Super cool. And that was my great uncle, Carlisle. Carlisle, everybody. There you go. Edward Carlisle Lewis. That is my middle name. Brilliantly dramatic. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, I've, I've just done the wrong thing. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, here we go. No, oh, we're still alive. Great. Um, thank you. That was. So that was, no, everybody, that was completely unscripted, by the way. Uh, my dad just did that off, off the cuff. He was actually going to apologise because he hadn't prepared a story. But look at that. He had prepared a story, and it was just as good as the last one. So everybody, there you go. Awesome story. Thanks, Walter, says everybody. By the way, he does go by Neil, but you can call him Walter if you wish, just for the purposes of this live stream, because this is a weird sort of alternate reality live stream. It's a very strange place to be, as, as just depicted by the fact that I'm in a spaceship, you, <laughs> you've just been telling stories about my middle name and about Great Uncle Who Was Shot. I'm about to do a biscuit review, but before we do that, of course, we have the day's biscuit quiz. The bis quiz. What is the subject of today's bis quiz, please? The subject today is hair. Hair. You guys decided it last time. It was, it was by popular demand, so I expect perfect tens this week because you've had a week to practice, to research, and although you can't use Google now, you, you've had a week to do it. Yep, no using Google, everybody. Remember, of course, this is part of the biz quiz. You have to make sure you, you're not allowed. You're allowed to work together in the chat, but you'll take the first sort of four answers that you see in the chat, won't you? So be careful. If you think you don't know the answer, then don't put it in there straight away. So you've got to be careful with the answers. I'm going to minimize the chat so I can't see what's coming in chat at all, and I've 
I promise you I'm not Google. You'll be able to see that on my hands. I've not Googled anything. And we're going to see who, who wins this. So you're going to tell me, well, we'll just, let's just play it by ear. Uh, all right, so I'm going to minimize the chat. So you can see in a second, guys, be nice to one another, of course. And remember, work together. Take it easy. Take your time with the answers. So quiz all about hair. After you, take it away. Walter Neil Lewis, the Biz Quiz Master. Okay, here we go. It's all about hair. And as, as Ed said, what I will do is take the first four or so, and I'll get a consensus, and that will be your answer. We'll give him a couple of seconds more, and then he can answer. Here we go. Question number one. Question number one is simple 50-50. It's true or false. Okay? I'll read out the statement. Uh, you decide which, it's, which it is, true or false, and write down the entire word, true or false. Here we go. Here's your statement. Frequent, regular, and vigorous shaving makes hair grow back in more thickly. False. True or false. Frequent, regular, and vigorous shaving makes hair grow back in more thickly. False. I've tried it. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't get this horrible thing. I've tried shaving the sides very frequently, and it never improves the area around here. And yes, somebody, by the way, was asking earlier on if this is my dad. Yes, this is my dad. This is Walter Neil Lewis, yes. Um, and um, I've gone for false because I think that it's, an, it's actually an optical illusion, not optical. Uh, it's just an illusion because the, the roots are actually slightly thicker, so it makes it look like it's thicker, but in fact, it's exactly the same. Next. Next question. As you say, an optional illusion. Yeah, the stubble appears to grow back thicker because the hairs are blunted rather than taken ah. off at the end. It never grows back in more thickly. So it's one apiece. Uh, did everyone else say yeah. false straight away as well? I'm going to give them a few seconds this time because I think I jumped in too quickly there. Jumped in too away. quick. Yes, yeah. yeah. You right. could have given them the answer. Uh, that's what I mean. I probably did. Okay, question number two. Number two, according to The Simpsons, Marge has been gray as a mule since she was 17. Mm. What color is her hair? Compliments of dye number 56. Oh, come on. Give them a few seconds. Everyone knows that one. I like your quiz, though. I like your quiz. You, all, you always make sure everyone feels like they can join in, even if they don't know any answers to anything else. It's nice. Um, it's blue, of course. And, and they agree, yes. No, yeah. you, you're absolutely correct. I mean, last week, Maximum number seven, I think. In, in both That's good, though. That means seven. that you've balanced it well, because then you've you have had a few people. Or, but you know, this time it's going to be more what you miss as opposed to what you get. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So stick around. Mm -hmm. Question number three. Number three. A bit of a multiple guess here. I'll give you the right answer and a couple of wrong ones. You decide which. Which is the most commonly occurring natural hair color? Black, mm. brown, blonde, or red? <sighs> The most Simply. common naturally occurring hair color. Black, blonde, brown, or red. Okay, I'm going to give my answer in a few seconds. I'm going to hold off, but I think simply because of potentially like East Asia and places like that, that it's going to be black, isn't it? Because there's a lot of the population over there. Okay, well, the first five uh, of your chatter said uh, brown. You oh, said black, and the actual yeah. answer is brown. Oh, uh, Edward, you're behind. Darn it. My logic was sound, though, was it not? Your logic was, uh, yeah, very sound. They have naturally so, black hair over there. But incorrect. In China and stuff. Oh, okay. Idiot. Okay, question number four in today's... Uh, Already losing. Go on. Number four. In the Rastafarian movement, what do we call those intentionally matted and sculpted ropes of hair which symbolize the Lion of Judah? Oh, so you learn everything. Even though the question's easy, you do learn something every day with it. It's uh, the dreadlock. Dreadlocks. This is it. And they agree. Okay. It's good. This is a good round. This is good going. Uh, nice and close. At the end of four questions, it's 3-4 uh, to the chatters. You made this it easier for me. After last week's like I said, it's massacre. Miss. Question number five. Number five, halfway through this uh, quiz today. I would like to know on television how are cooks David Myers and Simon King better known? It's hair related. Yes. So, so on television, again. how are cooks David Myers and Simon King better known? Uh, oh, uh, the Big uh, Harry Bikers. So, sorry? Big Harry Bikers. Big. Fat Harry Bikers, big, big Harry Bikers. Harry Bikers will do. The Harry Bikers. I, I, they're not big. I don't they're think, big. They're, I mean, they are big. We don't have to cast aspersions and, you know, uh, fat uh, things like that. I mean, oh, I'm so sorry. They'll never send you anything in a box. That, no, you won't. Oh, no, that's it. That's them. Uh, it's me off their Christmas lists. 
<laughs> Who am I thinking of? I'm sure there's. Assuming, something. of course, that they are listening right now. That's a half point for me, surely. Yes. Okay, <laughs> halfway stage, you're down by one. It's four or five, but okay. you've already scored as many as you did last week. Yeah, great. Question number six. One for the historians amongst you. During the English Civil War, what was the nickname of Oliver Cromwell's followers because they decided to crop their hair close to their head as an act of defiance to the curls and ringlets of the king's men? Oh, good question. English Civil War. Oliver yeah. Cromwell's followers, they cropped their hair close to their heads as an act of defiance. What were their nicknames? Uh, lads, lads, lads. <laughs> I've got no idea. Um, uh, the 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 croppers. The croppers. Yeah. Well, that 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 sounds quite logical again. Uh, but if you think back to your history, and none of them have got it uh, wrong. Wait, the, wait, round he round heads, round heads. Uh, wait, no, no, go on. I don't know. I'm sorry, so I've forgotten. I'm Actually, kick round heads. Is, round heads is correct. Oh, is it? Ah. Uh. At the at, at the dying of the embers, it's yes. The Roundheads and the Cavaliers, isn't it? Yeah, I do I do know about that yeah. stuff, but I, I did actually study that at um, school, so and I did quite well with it. So Roundheads and Cavaliers, and, uh, but I don't deserve the point for that. Do I deserve a point? No, I, I think we're going to give it to you. Oh, thank you. You thank got you there so at the end. Before I, I genuinely, I genuinely didn't look at chat or Google. I promise you, promise you all. I would not I, lie to you. Well, question number seven. Number seven. I'd like to know which actor who played James Bond on film wore a toupee or a small wig in every James Bond film he starred in. God, these guys will definitely know this one as well. Which actor who played James Bond on film wore mm. a toupee or a small wig in every James Bond film that he acted in? Roger Moore's got loads of hair, so I don't think it's Roger Moore. Sean Connery's kind of thinning, but maybe not back in the day. I'm gonna guess someone Someone that's not like George Lazenby. Let's go for Lazenby. George that's Lazenby is your answer? Yeah. Okay, they, they thought, uh, well, primarily seven, seven out of eight, it was, it was Sean Connery with a bit of Roger Moore thrown in. But it is Sean Connery. Yeah. Sean Con mm. I, can, I can believe that, but I didn't say it for some reason. I thought it would be a bit more sort of one of the, one of the smaller ones. George Lazenby's got a thick head of hair. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, so go on. glued on. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It's very true. Yeah. But you said it a small piece. Anyway, keep going. Keep yeah. going. Next question, please. Okay, question, question, number eight. Uh, question number eight. It's over to the F word. Yes. What do we call the involution of the epidermis from which a hair grows? A follicle. That was too quick. That was too quick, but we'll see whether they've uh, agreed with you or Everyone not. Everyone shut your ears for that in, back in time. Everyone knew the follicle anyway, right? Although we have, we have quite a, good, a strong European tangent, so maybe those guys wouldn't have known that word. A follicle is where all of the hair comes from. Well, I mean, the great part is I, they agree that it is a follicle, but I've seen it spelt 17 different ways. Have you? What's your favorite spelling? I like, uh, I like the F-O-L-I-C-A-L. Who is that? Who said that one? Uh, that's uh, Orange Spark. Thank you, Orange Spark. Great. Uh, go on. So, oh, give, so yeah. what's the real spelling? Aerosmith UK who says Follix. It's close enough. We'll give it to them. Okay. Follix. Okay. Question number nine. Number nine. Next to last in, uh, in today's quiz. Penultimate question. One for you biblical scholars. In the Bible, who lost all his strength when his hair was cut off? Um, Samson. Uh, too quick again. Sorry. You'll never catch up by giving them the answers. I know, but... but okay. They, prob they probably got that anyway, right? It's coming in here now, and yeah, Samson, 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 Samson. Yes, it's, uh, it's unanimous, Samson, and Great Samson stuff. is correct. It wasn't actually Delilah uh, who, and that's the pronunciation according to the old, the old way of looking at things, Delilah. Uh, she didn't actually cut it off. She so it's Delilah. 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 I, like, I prefer that. She, she actually uh, employed a couple of barbers to go in and shave his head. So when everyone says she shaved his head, nah. She That's a, another quiz around. question, another quiz question. Okay, we're going to finish the question, uh, questions uh, today with another multiple guess and uh, a part of hair subject that uh, is, is very close to me. And it's, it's all about beards. Beards, everyone. Throw down your beards in the chat. 
most of the world's, excuse me, I've got uh, something tangled up here. Most <laughs> of the world's longest beard ever is on display long beard. in God, the sorry, Smithsonian Google, Institute yeah. in Washington, D.C. I say most because when he died, they cut it off about here and left a few inches on, you see. Good, good for them. Thank you very much to those guys for leaving him with a little scrap of beard. It belonged to a Norwegian um, who died back in, in uh, 1927. What I want to know is how long was it? I'll give you three choices. You decide. Was it nine foot four inches long? Was it 15 feet eight inches long? Or 18 feet six inches long? I know which one I'm going to go for. The world's longest beard on display in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington. I'm going to go, I feel like you're trying to shock me with, let me know when the answers start coming in. They're not in yet, so hang on. I reckon they're typing now-ish. Okay. So I'm going to go for C, 18 feet, because I think you're trying to be like, oh, you won't, they won't believe it's the long one. I think it's the long one. Okay, right. Well, uh, it actually was an incredible 18 feet, yes. 6 inches in length. And as far as your chatters are concerned, they had 18, 15, 18, 15, so I went with the next one. And the next three were 15, so you've got Yes! Does that mean we drew today? Uh, haven't they got one more? Th uh, two, five, two, five. Yeah, so I got one less and they got one more, so go on. So it looks like a draw. Is it an awful yeah. draw? Do you have any tie, tie, tie breakers? A tiebreaker? Um, I'm sure I could in a minute. Uh, in a minute, okay. Uh, I have no hairy tiebreakers. You have no hairy tiebreakers. Oh, okay, that's all right. Don't worry about that. I can give you a, a very quick tiebreaker here, though. Yeah, go for it. In, uh, in Prague recently... Uh, this is why he's the master. A policeman was suspended by his department because he got drunk, got into his car, drove it around Prague, and smashed into some cars. How many cars had he smashed into before they stopped him? Oh. He was suspended by his department in Prague, uh, a drunken policeman smashing into cars. Okay, I, I'll take... Don't say anything yet. Give them a chance. Okay, so you're going to take the closest answer, right? And it's the closest to it without going over. Mm. If, <laughs> That's ridiculous. If you both go over, then it's just the closest to it, okay? So I'll take yeah. their first three answers. I'm going to be conservative with... Six. Okay, their first three answers were, I think, three, four, and 27. All right. Okay? And you said six. Yeah. If we took an average of their numbers, they come out a, a little bit higher than six. The actual number of cars that he managed to crash into before they stopped him was 51. Oh, what? Wow, I don't even understand how the car is still running at that point. He trashed 51 cars before wow. they stopped him. I don't think he's going to get his job back. No, I don't think so. Oh, so well. on the tie break, today's winners are the Chatters. Third time in a row. By the way, don't you just love that you're called the Chatters? I think that they, he's given you your quiz team name there. That's amazing. The Chatters. So round of applause for the Chatters. You guys are. I'm going to bring you back up here. Uh, there you are. Did everyone have a nice time? <laughs> Grief to sweet Jesus. That's a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then that guy must have taught me how to fly. Thanks very much. I knew that sort of thing would be in the chat. Um, but yeah, well, everybody, you well done. You did a good job. Um, what does everybody think? First of all, round of applause for Walter Neil Lewis, the quiz master, please, everybody. Round of applause. Please put your claps in the chat. And also, we want um, suggestions for next week's quiz. Uh, oh, actually, are you free on Thursday next week? We should have this conversation later, really, but are you free on Thursday next week, you know? Um, it's very... Ah, next week, I will be watching your niece on Thursday. Oh, OK. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. We'll have to take a week off, unfortunately. Uh, from the what from the quiz, um, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll make people's appetites grow for the following week because I'm off on Friday next week. Unfortunately, I'm not available for for this. So next, do I get tired of all the stomping? And yes, absolutely. That's three that I'm down here at this point. Three. The next week's quiz. What uh, next time's quiz? So not next week, but the week after. What would we like to see? What quiz would we like to? Uh, what should the subject be? Everybody put their suggestions in the chat, and then I'll pull one that I like from out of the chat as well. Um, I nearly got you guys. I was so close. I was so close. So close. Uh, but yeah, Coots, Quizzy gone. N only next week. Um, yeah, week off and then the special show. What's the special show? Special show? Commander Benkai? Special show? 
engineer, says Commander Keats. That's his suggestion. Um, fast food, someone says, Shan. That's an interesting one. Um, next week on Elite or just computer games in general. Um, Andy FM says, yes, engineers. Now, I do like the suggestion of engineers. Sparrow back from that as well. Now, engineers is, of course, um, the new update that we've just launched. But I think what would make a better quiz is if it was just about engineers in general, like great engineers or something like that, or whatever you, whatever you might think, engineers or engineering. I hope everybody's okay with that. I think it'll make a much more interesting quiz for everybody. So like, yeah, engineering in general and engineers. Yeah, I think you've got, he's got that. Like, we've got the thumbs up from Walter Neil Lewis. Thank you very much to the quiz master. The best quiz master, you've been an absolute pleasure again. Um, Got some claps in the chat, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, so we're gonna see, we're not gonna see you for a couple of weeks, but when you come back, I'm sure it'll be with a fantastic. Apparently, you're working on something almost cinematic for me uh, for the next next story that you're telling, right? Uh, yes, C cinematic is one way of describing it. Yeah. yeah. So what does everybody have? Um, what, do, so what do you have? Uh, that's gonna be interesting. What do you have planned for the weekend? I have... again, like I've like I've mentioned this before, I'm very. We don't talk <laughs> enough. This is the only time that we actually get to speak. So I'm just interested to know how your life is. How's things going? Are you all right? It's quite, it is. It's quite nice chatting with you, yes. No, lots of things on. I mean, it's, it's just been, well, uh, the, the F word, the other F word, fracking, has reared its ugly head over there in Rydale in Yorkshire. And uh, it's just, it, um, it amazes me that uh, 11 councillors can take in 5,000 different uh, entreaties from their local people only 36 of them say, oh, we don't mind this fracking. Uh, the other 4,000 and odd say, don't do this to us. And yeah. yet they turn around and vote it in. Yeah. So, I mean, look, I cannot agree nor disagree. As this is a lunchtime stream, and this is my relaxed stream, I have, I have no political opinion. Uh, so at this point, oh, I'm going to have to just polling, sort of bow to your wisdom on your that. polling card for the 23rd. Have I got my polling card for the 23rd? Yes, I, I do. Of course I do. And of course I'm going to make a private uh, decision on that too. Yeah. <laughs> just, just checking, yeah. Good, no, of course. All right. Yeah, Robbie XP1 says, no politics. Thank you, Robbie XP1. I, I, I get it. I get it. All right. Um, but yeah, I think if you actually look in the chat, look, people saying they can frack off. Fracking is bad. Yeah, they, you, know, you should not do that. Say here in Lancashire, says Pinkris. That's where my dad is. He's, in, he's based in Lancashire. Um, all right, um, but you might have seen some news. I don't want to. I, I look. I, look, I'm not going to harp on about this too much more because you know I shed too many viewers. But he, my dad, was actually part of the reason, like quite a big part of the reason why actually the bill was passed to make it not happen immediately. Let's not go about it too much. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. We're not talking about that anymore. Um, but thank you very much. For Mr. Walter Neil Lewis, the Biz Quiz Master, we are going to come back again in a couple of weeks' time to do a quiz all about engineering or engineers specifically. Yeah. Thanks. No, well, thank you very much. And uh, yes, and I will um, speak to you. I will. I, I'm going to be here still. So I'm just going to. We're just saying bye to, to Walter now. But I'm going to be here. So I will speak to you later on. Bye. Thank you for coming bye. on again. Bye. Bye. See you later. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, what a pleasure it is to have uh, Walter Neil Lewis on. He's the best. He's, he is my favourite dad. Out of all the dads that I have, he is my favourite. Um, you know, obviously. So, what have we got? How much longer have we got? We've got six minutes until the Biscuit Review. However, it's going to probably take that long to actually do the next segment of the live stream, which is the amazing Yorkshire Tea unboxing of this amazing box that I've got from Yorkshire Tea. Let me show you people. I'm going to take the headphones off because the my my wonderful guest is gone. Oh, wait, I don't, too many wires. Yes. Yeah, I miss Walter already. Can we talk about your dad now? <laughs> right, I haven't decided yet whether I'm streaming tomorrow. Let me go and get this. Bring back Walter. <laughs> All right. I don't think he's better than me. Let me go and get this box, which I'm going to unbo unbox right now. I've done. I've already made a few cuts into the into the box, but this is you're seeing with me for the first time what is actually inside this box, which is super cool. Just very look at the size of this thing. So let's find out. Let's find out what is in this package. <laughs> Live unboxing with Edward Lewis, isn't this? 
Son, don't use scissors like this. What is... Thanks, Yorkshire Tea. Don't unbox boxes like that. Always use... Be, always be set careful with scissors. Scissors are very, very dangerous tools. What's in the box? Come on! What's in the... Ooh. Well, this is an amazing selection of goods. Let me... I'm going to try and sort of position it here. Can you, can you all... Oh, it's the green screen, of course. It's going to make this look a little strange. Look at this. 480 tea bags from Yorkshire Tea. 480 tea bags. Look at this. Look at that. The hard water as well, because Cambridge has hard water. This is silly times. Let me, let me do something here. Because I'm concerned that the rest of it is chroma key. Oh, no, sorry. You Got to press the save button. All right, there you go. There we go, look at that, yes. Yorkshire tea, 480 tea bags. That's the first item in there that I can see. Uh, that's enough for a, a week from a British lad. What is this? Oh my God! I'm gonna save that for the last thing to show you guys. I'm gonna save that for the last thing on here. The next one, 80 tea bags, Yorkshire gold. Delightful stuff. And then we have a couple, a couple of these standards, you know. Thanks very much, Yorkshire Tea, by the way, if you are watching. Um, this is going to keep, that's going to keep me going for quite some time on these streams. And as we know, people watching, it's going to be a long time before I make it all the way home. So I do really appreciate all this stuff going through. But here are the two things that I've just spotted now. It's super cool. We've got ourselves a Yorkshire Tea landscape mug. Now I'm going to need those dangerous scissors again. Stretch over for the dangerous civil scissors. Giveaway, says uh, Millstone Barn. I could do. You know what I could do? I could do a giveaway. Let me have a, let me let me dwell on that one. Here we go. Unboxings are the best. Who doesn't like unboxings? Look at that, that's a proper mug. Look at the size of that guy. He's like a mug and, he's like a, it feels like a mug and a half. Ice cream coming at the most inappropriate time, everybody. I'm trying to do an unboxing here and the ice cream van turns up. How do you ex expect me to concentrate while the whole, the whole building is shaking with people running outside in excitement trying to find ice cream? That's a lovely mug, look at that. Let's have a proper brew. Lovely stuff. If Shan doesn't mind, by the way, Shan, do you mind if we can, um, if we use this mug today instead of just, just, just the one off? But it's a big mug. It's a big mug. And this, or oh, you, you might call this the piece de resistance. And I'm going to sit down to reveal this thing. That's everything in there, by the way, which is an absolutely incredible package. Uh, okay, griefed. Uh, uh, can, where can I get this T-shirt? It's on the Frontier store. Simple. Uh, this little thing here, the little urn, a Yorkshire tea little van. On the back it says, meet our trusty tea van, little urn. Created in 2005, our specially converted ice cream van has a simple mission in life, to give out cups of Yorkshire tea and spread the word about the importance of a proper brew. To find out about his adventures, visit us online. A little bit of marketing. All it takes is just to send one streamer a big load of stuff and then everybody thinks Yorkshire tea are great. Um, Sephron, good to see you. People give Sephron some advice in the chat. I, I, right now I'm kind of busy. Uh, but that is a lovely little haul. Don't open it. Don't open it. I, di I didn't. I shouldn't open. Did I? Is it? Is this actually like a nice little collectible thing? Is it? Maybe. I mean, I love this little thing. And I kind of want to keep it. But maybe if Yorkshire Tea is watching or watch this back on the VOD, we would love to do a giveaway of one of these. If you can send me another one of these, I would love to give one of these away on the chat at some point. Uh, because I love these people watching, but I don't love them enough to give them my one little toy. Uh, it's collectible, but I can keep it. Okay, I'll be careful with it. I will be careful with it. I might keep it in its little packet because I love the look. I like it. It's cool. It's a cool little thing. 
Um, all right, so that is the amazing little collection that we got there, right? That's super cool. Uh, what a lovely little haul. I've got like 480 tea bags and 60, 60, 60, 60, 100, 180 plus 480, so I'll do the math. That's how many tea bags that I literally just got sent in the post from Yorkshire Tea. That's so cool. Um, right, okay. Well, you know what happens now, don't you, everybody? Not only is it Friday, which is an exciting day, and everyone likes Friday, um, because it's the last day of the week. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to get to the stream tomorrow, but I'm going to be doubling up my efforts, maybe doing some streams in the evenings and things like that to make sure that we make a lot of progress. But it doesn't matter, because I'm enjoying these streams, and if you're enjoying these streams, I'm going to keep doing them anyway, if you, if you don't mind, if everybody doesn't mind. I don't know. Uh, up to you. Uh, I'm going to keep going, doing these. Um, but we have, of course, even with all the excitement of the BIS quiz and the story about Edward Carlyle Lewis and the um, the unboxing that we just did with like 660 tea bags, which is ridiculous. And yes, I am from Lancashire, but I can drink Yorkshire tea. It's still my preferred tea. Um, and uh, everything that we've done, even 2.1 coming out. There's still yet more excitement for today's stream, so I'm going to go to the back soon screen right now, go and make myself a brew. Probably use my New Yorkshire mug if Shan doesn't mind. I need the go-ahead from Shan, if it's okay to use this this mug, just for the once, just a one-off. Uh, yeah. And then we have ourselves a special biscuit from all the way from Europe that was sent in as well to review for the day. So, we'll be right back for the biscuit review. Be with you in a second. Bye! Hello everybody. I've just realized that I didn't put the music on. I'm very very sorry. I forgot to put forgot to put all the news on there. Uh on the music even on there. Someone's got some news for me apparently. It's good to see you. Look, here we go. We've got ourselves the cup of uh, tea. Mm. Every single time coots, I know. Get something wrong. That was almost a flawless stream of like in terms of production values until I forgot to put the delightful elevator music on. Good to see everybody, thank you very much for joining us. If you haven't yet already, do throw me a follow down there just so at some point I can get to a thousand followers and then buy everybody an ice cream in the chat. Go on a, a massive tour where I buy people ice creams. It'll be a lot of fun, a lot of silliness. 
somebody, some idiot scattered boxes everywhere, which made it difficult for me to get back to my chair. So let's get on with it. It's about 10 to. I've got the, uh, of course, the wonderful um, biscuit review spreadsheet up. We are currently 20, 28 biscuits in, so this is our 29th biscuit today. It's a European special from, uh, we've got our totals there, yeah, we have good stuff. Uh, so, European total there. Mmm. Underboss of the code, well done, Corpse Necromess, well done, sir. Always busy, was that you, Ed? Was that me with what? Oh, it was me, yeah, I was the one who scattered boxes everybody. Sorry. Ed's ice cream van tour of the UK, genius. One day, we'll make it there. We've only been doing this for about four weeks and we're already getting some good numbers. We need more, we need more people here. More people and then we can go on an ice cream tour. I'll take a week off work to go on an ice cream tour. All right, today we have the Coppernath, Coppernath, Vienna Sandringer. So it's like a, a Viennese biscuit actually from Vienna, I think these are. Uh, so that's Venus Sandringer, but I'm going to go for... What, does, does anyone know what Venus Sandringer means? Please, can somebody uh, do a translation for me? Uh, Koppenrath, it must be the um, the company, of course. Vena Sandringer. There you go. And uh, we have... Uh, the first thing, of course, is appearance. Let's get them out. Let's see how they look. Not approved, says Frontier Dev. I'm not allowed a week off to go on a ice cream tour. You can come with me. Oh, we do have some crumbles, but that was because it has come all the way from Germany, so, or, or Vienna, Austria. Um, so here we go, look at this. Oh, bit crumbly, straight away, very crummy. But of course, don't worry, we've got Henry Hoover down there. He can help us out later on, hoover up some of these crumbs. It's a nice looking biscuit. Biscuit. It is seen. It was really fun of you, by the way, everybody. Can I say a massive thank you to the people who watched me in the ch in, in yesterday's stream? Because everyone was saying things about biscuits and making little nods towards it. And the Americans were going, Stop talking about biscuits, you damn Brits! And it was really funny. <laughs> anyway, it, yes, it's a circular motion. A swirl, a Viennese whirl, you might call it. Um, it is good looking. Uh, so did somebody... Uh, Sand rings. Rings of sand. Sand ringer. <laughs> the rings of sand. That is not what this is. Uh, it does look a little bit like a little... <laughs> Nobody in the chat agrees. It kind of looks a little bit like a ring of sand. Who moderates the moderators? That's right. They need moderation. It's crumbly. It's crumbly everywhere. Uh, let's have, let's give it a, it's a, it's a pretty looking biscuit. It brings me joy, it brings me amusement, but it's not incredible, it's like a 6.8. Let's be honest, it's not an amazing looking biscuit, but it's, it's, I like the kind of swirl thing going on. Taste. Mmm, <laughs> Saffron says it. I like this biscuit, a bit dry but amazing. It's actually shortbread. It's just shortbread, um, but it is very, very nice. It's very, very tasty. It's a little bit dry, but it crumbles in the mouth in a kind of nice way, actually. And it does taste, it, it is a bit kind of like a sandy texture, but doesn't taste like sand. It tastes nicer than the sand, so it may, kind of makes up for it. And in some interesting way, let's just, just clear the palate. Mmm, lovely stuff. Um, taste, uh, lovely stuff. That's my New Yorkshire accent there. Yeah, lovely stuff, pal. That's lovely stuff, that. Um, all right. Uh, uh, taste. It's okay. It's not incredible. It's, it's good. The texture is sandy, but in a quite a nice way, I have to say. It's like a quite a nice sand like sort of... You know when a sand crumbles around a sand castle? Imagine that feeling, not in a, in a sort of nice satisfying way and the water comes in a bit. Imagine that feeling, but in your mouth. Uh, so it's kind of, it's a love-hate relationship. It looks pretty when it sort of sand, sand sort of crumbles around, but it's also frustrating because you've knocked down your sand castle that you've spent hours building. It's going to be a six-pointer. It's going to be 6.5. I mean, the sand ring. Sand ring. Mm. Durability, let's see how the durability goes. I mean, there's lots of, it's all, it's... It's crummy. It's so crummy. It's it's a five. It's a five. I have. I'm so sorry, everybody. I don't mean to uh, offend anybody at all. Butter cookies. Yeah, it's kind of very butter cookie. It's very sweet. It is. Um, yeah, it is very sweet. You're absolutely right. 
Uh, okay, here we go. I'm not sure about this. I'm going to be honest with you. This is not feeling good. Are you ready? One, two, three, up. Okay. It's done very well. It's done very well. For the no. Okay, so it did not... It handled the first dunk. Came out. But then it fell in afterwards. So we're looking at 4.8, I think. Science. All right, let's go for the post dunk taste. Mmm. It's very nice. It is very nice. You just have to do it a shorter amount. I, th I don't think it's a must dunk, but it's very, very nice. It's improved. It's improved on the initial taste by probably about 0.3. So we're looking at 7.2. That's very nice. That's very nice. Dunked. Mm. Very good. Crushed almonds in biscuits makes them crunchier and last longer. Yeah, good point. Satisfaction. I actually really liked it, despite like I want to say, like despite all of the low numbers all the way leading up. I actually think it's a very nice biscuit. I think it's very very good. So I'm going to give it a nice bray 7.5. And more as well. I can't wait to have another one of those. That's going to 7.5 too. So there you. I mean, look, that's not a bad score. There are some middling round there. We'll see how it does. Uh, let's copy over the formula and see where it sits in the table. Everybody's favourite moment, of course. Oh, I've copied the wrong thing again. Here we go. 52.2. Uh, wow, there's lots of middling biscuits, isn't there? Lots of middling biscuits. Let's get that ordered, as we can see here. 52.2 puts it... Ah, the bottom third. The bottom third. But still, above the foxes brought a crunch. Wait a minute. Wow. Wow. Mm. But I think, everybody, that that isn't a bad shout at all. That's done very, very well. I'm very, very surprised by how well that's done, actually. And I'm, I kind of want more. I can't, I'm, gonna, I'm going in for another one. Mmm. 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 It's definitely sit, it sits there. It sits there. I think that I've made the my, my first decision is the right decision. Uh, Coriolanus says I demand a recount. Bourbon. Where's the bourbon? The bourbon sat really nicely high up. I don't know. You shouldn't be too worried about the bourbon. That's like twelfth on the list. Eleventh on the list. Wow. Mm. Fox's deal must be on the rocks. <laughs> All right, guys. You have, yeah, they've gone strangely quiet. I'm hoping that it's because they're planning a massive return to the to, to form and getting back on here. Well, <clears throat> you know how it is. It's Friday. I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been here so far this week in the stream. And uh, you know exactly how I do that. By doing this. Putting on my headphones, I to listen to the music, making sure it's playing. I'm running through the list, the viewer list, to say thank you so much. A huge round of applause to everybody who's joined me this week. You've all been absolutely incredible. I will be back on, oh, it's a bank holiday, so I'll be back on Tuesday. It's only a three-day week, and I'm so sorry, but it's only a three-day week. I'll be back on Tuesday, and I'll be out in full force with ten times the energy and loads more biscuit reviews. We've got guest Wednesdays, um, no biscuit quiz, but we'll we'll work it out. It's going to be good. It's going to be it's going to be good. I promise. So thank you so much to zero x triple six c six nine seven. 473, 67 Mark, Abby the Swelter, round of applause, a round of applause for everybody here in the chat. Abbott to Cold Will, Academic Dust 894, AI22K, Alex Stone, Alex Jaeger, and his name is Zanarka, Andrea Kitty, Andy FM, Balloon Knots, Black Sheep Kitty, Bubble Mark Gaming Live, Commander Benkai, Commander Doug Heisenberg, Commander Moonprayer, Commander Calvert, Commander Helker, Commander Coriolanus, Corpse Necromus, Corey 3, Crazy Kazen, Dante 2050, Dark XMX, David Gilson, Daylight TOC, Dr. Nuisis, Frontier, Dev, For They, Gamora, Goxy79, Grief, Yay, iGamer17, Ironcore1, Jezerai, Kabushki, Latensky, Long John, Sean, Malco5, Mech Shadow Beast, Millstone Bond, Netherwolf, Not Biffle, he's not Biffle, Orange Spark, Pulses, Pincris, 11, 82, 79, Catchy, PMT, 87042, Even More Catchy, Parazek, Percat259, Red Gremlins, William 71, Test, not the real account, not his real account, it's his test account, Revian, Robbie XP1, Robbie XQ, Sergeant NL, Scrub Tard, Sephron, Seviv, Shaneri Renali, Shark, Sharky Alarm, Sevian B, Tum, Sparrow Black, Techie Boy Steve, Techie Boy Steve, 
All right, it's Techie Boy Steve here. How's it going? Uh, Techie Boy Steve. Uh, Timmy pick Tickle My Pickle. Oh, 07. Tigerius Watt NA. Tizzo 513. Twing Twong 101. Bonkers. Uh, Uber Dodo, Varulia, Yardas, and Z64. Round of applause to everybody. Thank you so much for being here. You are the bestest. Uh, I love you all. And uh, yeah, I will see you next week. Have a really, really good weekend. Bye! Zach, get back in here and pack away these boxes. You've scattered these boxes everywhere. Get in here and earn your wages by picking up these boxes and putting them in the recycling bin. No, the recycling bin! Not the blue one! No, the blue one, not the green one!